Hello, early game tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Champions of Kryn with me, Blue Ankylo, doing the live stream, playing the games, um, trying not to die terribly. Uh, this should be episode three, I believe, so if you're watching on the future tubes, you probably know approximately what's going on. We're going to Throttle, and we're trying to find Karamon, who's going to help us rebuild the outpost, maybe? I don't know. Also, this is supposed to be a city. It seems to be kind of ransacked by uh, thugs and draconians and rats and stuff. So, we've been here before. We have explored some of the area. Clearly, we've missed a couple things. Um, our party is, you know, very low level, so it's difficult. Uh, now, because I have an auto map feature on the right, I can see that I missed one thing on the on the bottom east. I guess we only did a quarter of the map. We did not get very far. Um, <laughs> We've had a couple encounters. Someone did say there's a treasure to the east, and then I never found it because, you know, old school dungeon diving. I never went into this room. I don't know why I missed it. I just never saw it. It's locked. Well, this is why we have a, uh, a thief, right? <laughs> a cleric is opening a chest. His undead minions attack. Well, clerics are bad news. I probably should have saved it. But... Okay, well... The undead themselves aren't so scary. Just low-level skeletons, but this cleric, well, I bet you he's got a spell readied. Look forward to that one in a second. Uh, we might be able to hit him with a bow or something. Also, oh yeah, he's already casting. Uh, okay, this is why we have stuff like Magic Missile. Magic Missile is instant cast. It basically can't miss. I shall not be held. You have lost your spell, sir. Uh, we also have... Well, Pixel is our elf. So we're going to try... I haven't really used ranged weapons a whole lot so far. They're kind of a pain. But we've got these short bows. They should be okay. Uh, Thaku of 14 is actually pretty good, to be honest. In the early game. You know, this guy has an AC of 3... Which means a Thaco of 14 would be minus 3. So we've got 45% chance to hit. Yeah, good shot. <laughs> uh, we also could try to turn undead. Uh, the person that would be best at that would be... Um, the good fighter mage cleric. Uh, Tim. Uh, we've got a mage. We've got Rob with the darts. Those are highly likely to connect. Can't even throw them that far. All right, well, you can just uh, stay there, I guess. Uh, okay, we've got Drow. This is our Kender. Now, they have a Hoopak, which is essentially a fancy dancy sling. So, here you go. Yep, good thing I used Magic Missile. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'll just throw some darts at some skeletons. Sweet. Hmm. Not working so well at hitting that... Uh, that cleric. Or even anything. Also, why hasn't Tim had a turn recently? Uh, view, no, aim. I feel like I haven't had Tim do anything this entire map. What's going on? We've all, everyone else has had two turns. Okay, Tim, turn. Skeletons, very low level undead. Not very good at resisting being turned. I don't believe we get experience for turning them. If we're a really high level cleric, we can essentially uh, destroy them via our uh, turning undead, but we're not that high. Right now they're just running away mm, somehow. <laughs> now Tim gets another turn. Uh, hold on, that was the wrong way. There we go. Hoopa, indeed. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, because we're such a low level, our ability to hit anything is... Well, you can do the math. Um, 17 Thaco isn't very good. And uh, someone with 3 armor class really is 14. So you have to roll... You have to roll 14 or higher on a 20-sided dice. So it's not very likely. Yeah. 
the shark bow has not been very successful either. I don't think we've we've hit a single ranged attack yet. Oh! Rob gets the first connection with a dart. Okay, but this can be a back attack. It missed anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, this is why I don't normally go with short bows. Actually, let's see. Uh, 14 Thackle with a bow. Short bows are not very good. Uh, 15 Thackle with a sword. So it's actually slightly more accurate to use a bow. With 19 uh, dexterity anyway. There we go. Thornum walks in. One dead cleric. That shouldn't have been that difficult. But almost 500 experience is pretty good. What do we find? Money. Bunch of, bunch of steel. If you remember from Dragonlance, steel is the uh, regular currency. No uh, copper coins and silver coins to mess with this time around. And they do wait. Basically, our encumbrance is also counted in steel. So, 200 steel coins, uh, I believe, weigh 200 encumbrance. And then the weight of our weapons and armor is measured in steel coins for some reason. Okay, so, good win. Uh, ooh, we actually do get some uh, potentially magical items here. Well, this is why we have people with detect magic. So now we can take something. So, we do have a magical shield. Our first magical equipment, I'm willing to bet you it is a shield plus one, uh, which we can probably figure out pretty quickly. Uh, potions, some scrolls. And actually, the chainmail is uh, an upgrade for somebody. Uh, I think Thornum has chainmail. But yeah, we still have some people with scale mail. Uh, two people. Yeah, so we do need uh, just even regular chainmail is still an upgrade here. So if we view pixel, change from scale to chain, that will give him minus one armor class, which is good. And also plus three movement, which is also good. And that gets Pixel to zero AC for the moment. Which is better than the enemies we're fighting. And then, although we can't identify it right now, this shield is almost certainly magical plus one. Uh, so let me give that to Thorinum. Because he has a dexterity penalty. So he's always a little bit worse on AC than the rest of the team. He's only got 17 dexterity as a dwarf, so he's always got a, a 1 AC penalty, basically. So let's see if this uh, gets him a plus 1. Oh, look! Even though it's not truly ID'd, we know what it is. Alright. Well, that's good. That's two upgrades in armor class. It makes the battles continue longer, because we're not getting hit as much. We don't need the other garbage. Because it's not magical, right? Just a random mace and a random shield. No, we don't need that. This looks like a safe place to rest. Oh, I... Gee. If only we'd found this last time we came to this dungeon. This is exactly what I needed. Was somewhere that we could restore spells. <laughs> rather than having to go back to the outpost. Oh, well. Just mark this down on your uh, mini-maps. We can come back here later. Hilarious game. Hilarious. The one room I missed. Well, what we will do then is save it at the very least. Alright. Okay. We didn't really cast a whole lot of magic. Just one magic missile, so... No need to specifically spend a day resting just yet. We got more dungeon to explore. This is a well-furnished study. Also, just turn the music down a little bit. It's a little bit loud in my ears. Sorry. I've got a lot of things to keep together for this. Uh, this Let's Play has a lot of different um, things that can go wrong, basically. All, all the windows and stuff I'm dealing with here. Oh no! Zombies and rats! Uh, well, maybe we could just let them go? I don't know. The rats catch me. Well, I guess that's better than rats and zombies. Alright, well, the, one of the best parts of the Kryn games on Goldbox is we should be getting sweep attacks, although we're still very poor at hitting. Um, so although we don't actually get two attacks per turn yet, um, because 
These are very low level enemies. We can sometimes kill two in a row. I say as we fail to connect. Hey man, normally we would just miss once, but now we get to miss once and hit once. I don't know the exact mechanics for sweep. One day I'll go double check what they are. Uh, I know it's related to your fighter level and the enemy's level. I think you can get more sweeps as your fighter level is higher than the enemy level. So eventually you could swing and kill like five in a turn kind of thing, but uh, we're not there yet. Fifteen experience. See why I tried to avoid that fight? Alright. Not that the zombies would have helped much. Uh-oh! Monsters attack again! They're everywhere down here. Well, these are just hobgoblins, I believe. Yeah. Nothing super dangerous. Um, we could be trying for backstabs. Maybe one day. For now, ranged hoop packs seem pretty good. Hmm. Alright, Aaron. Hold the line! I'm gonna try to hold off on using our sleep spells until we're fighting more dangerous random encounters, because these. We shouldn't need to spend resources on these kinds of maps. We're gonna take a guard. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make him come to me. We uh, did not get the guard attack there. Hey, not bad. Uh, how do I end your turn again? Quit. If you have a melee weapon, you can guard and get a free attack when someone was adjacent, uh, or you can delay your attack till the end of the turn. But if you just have a ranged weapon, you have to quit. Or it, yeah, it's weird. Anyway, another 30 experience. It's there's no way any of this is magical, so we're just gonna leave it. Hobgoblins do not have magical gear, especially in a random encounter. Okay, let's check the room. We'll pick it. We will not pick it. We will select our thief. We can't pick it anymore. Alright. You know what to do? Aaron? Actually, we'll use Thornum. He's a dwarf. Seems more smashy. Smash! This room is filled with old coffins. Well, that does not help us. Look around. Just old coffins. I was expecting some zombies or something. Okay. So that wraps up this bottom left corner for the moment. Let's keep exploring. The encounter rate feels like we're playing an old NES RPG again. Uh, I haven't proven whether or not giant centipedes are poisonous yet, to be honest. Uh, if they are poisonous, they're by far the most dangerous enemy on this, uh, on this map. There we go. gonna delay just for super trick super cool trick miss ah oh, turn order killing me I want to show off a backstab you have to attack an enemy and get the thief attack between like the enemy the enemy cannot have its action between your attack and your backstab it's just not very nice okay move attack doesn't matter if you hit this is also fine. Or you just kill it. That's fine. 
Well, so much for that plan. No backstabs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't just give them, uh... Attacks of Opportunity Blue. I can't believe how much difficulty we have with rats. <laughs> What's the AC on these? Seven. So we've got... We should have more than 50% chance to hit. Well, no. <laughs> 17 Thaco against 7 AC is, in fact, 50% odds. Alright, another <laughs> pitiful amount of XP. Don't expect much from rats. Okay, let's keep... Oh, wait, I should go to this door. Okay, hold on. Let's make sure our thief is up front, or at least selected, which I believe is how this works. And then pick. Anything in here? No. <laughs> well, we tried. Alright. Um, cool. More, uh, more rats. Sure is a lot of random garbage enemies in here. I feel like it would be disrespectful to use magic on these kinds of garbage enemies. We don't... This party doesn't need... I don't know why I had so many turns there in a row. Rob, you're just super fast. Oh, I think you can... I think you can throw three darts per turn. That's how it works. So, whenever we're doing an attack with the... With the mage... I always forget these weird little mechanics. Some bows, you can fire two bows per turn per action as well. So when a mage throws a dart and it misses, you actually miss three times. Um, to make yourself feel really good. Mace versus uh, rat makes perfect sense. See, yeah, there we go. We only hit him. Uh, it doesn't show you misses. So it's hard to tell if I missed one and then hit, or hit and then missed two. But uh, that's just the nature of these old games. 27 experience. Hooray. Pretty windy maze here. Okay, we're back in the central area. So let's uh, clear these little side rooms right by the entrance first. The area is littered with um, decaying soldiers or something and creatures rise out of the rains. All right, well, we'll kill some, kill some more rats, I guess. It's a lot of rats. It's kind of a shame these fights are worth so little, uh, you know, experience. <laughs> Oh, by the way, you might have noticed we have a yell command on our Kender. Uh, that is like a taunt. I don't know exactly how it works, but it is a taunt. Perfect thing to put on your, uh, um, your, your fragile halfling thief is uh, an ability that makes enemies attack them. Yeah, they make everyone really upset, and then they get killed for it. Alright, two rats killed in a single turn. Oh, we are just slaughtering these giant rats. We should probably be a little bit more careful about the skeletons. They do have weapons, so I'm pretty sure their damage range is higher than the rats. We did. I tried to turn them, we just weren't very successful. They probably take half damage from uh, bladed weapons as well. Now, they're low enough level that it doesn't make too much difference, but... Yeah, probably. Well, it's hard to say, yeah, the, the range on a dart is a 1d4, so... Could've just been normal. Awesome. We're gonna be here a little while. Never 
Never mind, we got a good turn. We'll see what Drell gets up to. Maybe maybe we'll do some uh, background lore for our Kender getting into hijinks. So we did definitely take some damage on this encounter. Just a lot of rats and skeletons. Okay. But we're good. Oh, I had a look at how Bless worked. So last time we were playing for the future tubers and the live tubers, I tried casting Bless in battle, and I'm like, oh, what a stupid area of effect. It doesn't even work. Uh, it only applies to allies that are not adjacent to an enemy, and there's that little rule I always forget. So you can cast it in battle, in combat. You just have to cast it before you uh, engage in, like, melee combat. Okay, and that would give us, like, you know, 5% more hit. Whew. All right, 30 XP, not going to make much difference. Let's do a little bit of healing top off. Cure Light Wounds, 15 HP, we, we healed 3, let's try this again on Pixel, 18 to 23, sure, everyone's in the green, good enough. Okay, no one's got to level up, but Drell's getting close, Thornum's getting close, 30 XP at a time. So this was a, a room full of corpses, I thought, but turns out there's also some Draconians in here. We could use magic on this one. These guys are a little bit stronger. We'll see how I feel. If I did sleep, yeah, we'll do one sleep here. We can probably put this whole five group, everyone adjacent to this tile. One, two. Well, three is better than nothing. They'll stay asleep for like five turns at level one or something like that. It'll be fine. Well, Thornum! Not looking so hot. Should have healed him up a bit more. Hmm. They will be asleep for a while and they block in someone else. So let's focus on the people that are killing us for the moment. Uh, the hit rates. Early game hit rates. Killing the boss with uh, ranged weapons is preferable because then you don't lose your weapons temporarily. Killing the boss would be ideal. Well, our hit rate sucks, so we missed and missed and missed and they, they got lucky. Uh, it's fine. He's not actually dead. Uh... Let's see, what do we do here? It's, uh... Bandage, there you go. Thornum is no longer uh, actually dying. And they won't kill him in this game, I don't believe. Yay, we finally killed the stupid Baz. Good thing I put a sleep spell on, or we might have... Actually, we still might be in some trouble, to be honest. Let's start killing these guys before they wake up. I realize that releases one of them, but eventually they will wake up, so. Mm, I guess we're in melee now. Hey, attack from behind, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Thornum got to... No, he's not dead. He's just having a little nap. These guys have been very lucky on their swings. Uh, and we've been... We have, we have like, better armor class than they do. And we're probably better Thaco. But, uh, yeah, we're just not getting lucky hits, so...
Not even a back attack. Having Rob in melee here is a terrible idea, too. I thought that should have been a backstab, but sometimes it happens between turns, so it's really hard to know for sure if you've attacked between rounds. Look at the hit right here. I'm glad they surrendered, because we couldn't hit crap. Alright, well, that was worth a fair amount of XP at the very least. <laughs> Not that Thorinum gets any of it. Alright, well, let's give some money to uh, the thief for now, I suppose. Uh, Fifteen bucks. That's basically nothing. Uh, I don't expect any of this is magical, but we'll detect magic just in case. No magical. Well, Thornum's magic shield did not keep him alive. It's fine. He's not actually dead. Uh, let's go to Jural. Cast some fancy light wounds. Look at that. 8 HP. He's back on his feet. And he killed a 12 that time. Amazing. Let's heal up Tim. There we go. 11 HP. That plus one hit die on Cure Light Wounds is really nice. Wish I had more clerics that could do that. Uh, we'll do a little bit more healing though. There. Everyone's topped up. Good heal rolls. Not too bad at all. And we're definitely going to save at the very least. Oh. Not allowed to save. What is word number eight? It probably... We don't have to enter anything. Come on, gold box. Why would you make me actually look this up? Uh, I'm pretty sure my uh, GBC has a way to fix this too. Rule book page eight. Does it have a shortcut to these? Haven't had to do this one yet. Uh, hold on a second. I thought for sure there was an option for this one somewhere. I know I can bring up the journals and just search for it manually, but I thought there was a, uh, a quick check. But it's not even a journal, it's a rule book. Oh yeah, here we go. Passwords. Oh, there's a, there's a notepad. We should do some more notepad plus plus advertisement. Rule book page eight. Uh, journal entry, okay, rule book, page eight. Wow, there are so many random words. Page eight, word eight, after heading spells is them. Boy, I'm sure glad we don't have to do this anymore in modern games, huh? Just to save your game. <laughs> All right, well, at least I know how to look those up relatively quickly now. First time, lots of fun. Oh, you know what? While we're camped up and it's totally safe, let's check, check out another Goldbox Companion uh, feature slash um, cheat. It's kind of like a cheat, but, you know, I'm going to show it off. Uh, level up. Oh, you guys can't see this. Can I add this to the screen? Well, that's not great. You're supposed to be able to see this. Okay, hold on. Every time Goldbox Companion adds a, uh, a new window, I have to add it to my stream setup. So this just takes a little second here. But I really like using the Goldbox Companion level up more than the uh, in-game uh, training hall level up. Even though normally you can only do this back in town, and in the future we'll only use this in towns. Because it's probably uh, it's more balanced that way. But, that's what I'm seeing. So Drow, if he levels up... A cleric to level two, he will gain. You can see the save throw he gains, and also the spells per day he will learn at the same time. Isn't that cool? So this will also show us changes to Thaco, the hit points, the uh, saving throws, the spells we learn, or the, the slots we learn. You know, it's pretty cool. And then Drow does a little dance up there. Okay. So now if we have a look at Drow, he did all that healing. Makes perfect sense for him to be a level 2 cleric now. 
Which is good. I mean, more cure he's just going to always have all the cure light wounds because he heals better than anyone else. So, uh, yeah, I'll take that. I have a feeling the Gold Box Companion gives you max HP on level ups as well, which is perhaps a little bit more uh, unfair if you're trying to play it legit. But, hey, we're not here for a challenge run, right? We're just here to have some fun. These games are pretty brutal. A hobgoblin growls. What? More of them? I thought the plan was a secret. Uh, parlay? <laughs> Do we really need to parlay? Uh, Aaron, you're gonna parlay. The hob hoblin snorts in derision. Didn't work. <laughs> well, now we've tried to parlay at least once. Okay, well, I'm gonna have Rob not move to there. Uh... At low levels, the range of these spells, like sleep, is not very long, so... Can't... Go very far, but far enough that we might be able to knock out... Up to seven hobgoblins, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six... Excellent! It's supposed to target up to sixteen, but it only has an area of effect of one, so really nine is your max. And only if they've got a low number of hit dice. Yeah, so these guys, most of them are gonna go down pretty quick. Also, once you're asleep, you don't get back attacks. Or attack an opportunity. I think my favorite method of killing uh, helpless <laughs> enemies, though, is truly uh, darts. Weapons that have no ammo cost, and usually are hard, like mages that can barely connect, like terrible Thacko, weak weapons, do like tiny damage. You can kill very high HP monsters with a single strike from a rock. All right, well, I would say that was probably a good use of our uh, sleep spell, right? Okay, we got a normal hobgoblin and a hobgoblin leader. And now there's nothing. Excellent. Okay, not much XP, but, you know, a little. And a bunch of junk again. Uh, so scale mail is from the gob the hobgoblin leaders, but we fought lots of these guys before. We know none of this is worth it. We're looking for maybe one more suit of chain mail, but then after that, we need better stuff. And then, of course, magical gear and all that. Okay. Uh, clear this room out. Full auto mapping. So nice. Okay, so that clears the left and the right sections on the bottom of the map. There's really only one direction open to us, which is up here. But monsters attack again after a few steps. So we got two fighters and a bunch of rats. All right. I don't know why the rats would team up with the humans and the skeletons. Someone's gonna have to explain that one to me later. Well, that went pretty smooth. Rat's done. Let's see if Thornum can get killed again by uh, warriors. <clears throat> Good deal. Miss all the important hits. <laughs> now that now that Thornum's in a dangerous position, we're gonna miss every swing. Ah, the curse of the dice has returned. Except they're digital dice today. All right. 
right, now we're making some progress. Okay, every battle is like a chance of just getting hit by a couple random... So, suddenly our accuracy goes to zero and the enemies just kill somebody and like... Well, our HP isn't that bad as long as we're talking like Aaron, Thornum, Pixel. But still, even with 20s, the enemies can do like 5 to 10 damage per hit sometimes, so it can add up real fast. Uh, nothing here should be any value, unfortunately. Another random encounter. Only the uh, scripted encounters tend to give you good stuff. Dead end? Just bashing into the walls, double checking. Okay, this is the only door that's probably going to be a boss fight, right? This feels like we might be entering a bit of an area. Well, it's quite the long hallway. <laughs> they did say there was traps. I haven't seen a trap yet. Ah, well, we have black robe mages, and there is a black full moon. That's that's this might be the most dangerous fight yet. All right, well, the knight can only do one thing, and that's smack enemies with the sword. Tim though has this fancy silence spell. <laughs> We're definitely gonna use that. We're gonna delay, I think. All right, well. Enjoy being silenced. Unaffected. Are you kidding me? The one useful spell we got. Thorn immediately takes nine damage. One more hit and he could die. Okay. It's gonna be one of these games. Sure, we can put them to sleep. We can't silence them, but we can put them to sleep. Okay, Thornum, you focus on the one that's not asleep. I don't uh, trust this guy very much. Two damage. Low level magic missiles. Alright, um, more sleeping, I guess. It would be really nice to put the other mage to sleep before he does something annoying. Now, he shouldn't have fireballs or anything, but enemy mages, it's not probably as bad as enemy clerics at this point. Ah, just kill this guy. I suppose we should get rid of these guys. They are kind of blocking the road, which is helpful at the moment. But let's get rid of them. Okay, no magic. Now, all helpless enemies have been undone. I think we tested out that hold person doesn't actually work on uh, draconians, which makes some sense, I suppose. There you go. Two hits from the darts. That may be the first time that's happened. Get out of here, you punk. So when you're at low uh, HP like that, what I can do if I don't have H if I don't have the spells to heal you, is uh, swap over to the bows and fight from range. As long as there's other characters that can handle the front row for a little while. put a lot of things to sleep, so thanks to a couple of useful sleep spells, we're, we're doing alright. I 
I guess that explains why I run out of darts so quickly, because we throw them constantly in batches of three. Yeah, sleep is probably the best level one mage spell in the early game. I don't really think it's negotiable. Magic missile's good, always useful, but in the early game, sleep is, uh, well, pretty solid. All right. Thornum gets a level up. I'm going to not just cheese that and use it in the middle of a dungeon, but eventually he will get a level up when we go back to town or something. Uh, let's see here. What I will do outside of battle is switch him back to... Uh... It's got... Oh, that's a magic shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want the magic shield equipped. Um, okay, what have we got to pick up? Money? Hardly any money. I guess we can take the darts, because we do run out of darts all the time. I guess this was our first battle against mages, so it's possible something was magical, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. The daggers were not enchanted, and the darts were not enchanted. Shouldn't be surprising, but uh, double checked. Okay, well, technically survived it. Let's see if we can get some uh, more healing. I don't know how many more cure wounds we have left at this point. Thornum clearly needs one HP. Uh, that's a big difference. Okay, we got a few more here on Pixel. That was five. Ah, uh, yeah. That was two. Okay, and one. Well, we've had some really poor healing this time around. Oh yeah, don't use that map. That's super super confusing map. Well, I think that's all the healing we're going to get. So, uh, it's a good thing we brought all those uh, clerics, eh? If we didn't have four clerics, <laughs> we'd have absolutely... Well, we'd have considerably less healing available. So we're going to save, and we're going to keep going for a little bit longer. We're gonna try to pick this lock with uh, Jarrell. There we go. Continue picking. Sometimes if you bash it, you will alert the enemies on the other side of the door. So picking it will get us more of an ambush, which can be useful. Sometimes you just walk through the door and get attacked by a flight of arrows from the north though. A soldier approaches and wants to parlay. He explains his presence here, and you record it in Journal 35. Okay. Maybe these are friendly warriors. Journal 35. Share with you guys. I was with a party of knights and, other, and others under Caraman that came in here to explore. We haven't really found anything. Caraman's already left report. I guess you must have missed him. Oh, one thing we did find out was there was treasure left over from the previous occupants of Throttle. We got word of it from a hobgoblin who was sneaking in to claim it. Before he died, he told us that it was located in the south-central area of the city. Tell you what, if you help find the treasure, I'll split it with you. Alright. South-central? I may have already found this accidentally. And I'm not splitting it with you. Do you allow him to join the party? Mm, seems like a bad idea. He's just gonna steal our experience and our treasure. If we lose out on gold because of this guy or he backstabs us, I'm gonna blame you guys in chat. We now have a soldier. Can we take his gear? I would love to just take that plate mail, but we cannot. <laughs> I'd love some more plate mail, but we cannot take it. Uh, he's a chaotic neutral human fighter at level 7. Wowzers. Yeah, he'd probably kick our butt. <laughs> he's actually not that strong, so he doesn't do as much damage as we do with 16 strength. But uh, still, level 7 fighter. Pretty good. I think he gets two attacks per round at level 7, maybe. 
You see a broken sword on the floor. Continuing to pick. Oh, hey, the treasure's here. If we'll split it with you, yeah. You have found a trap. You've already triggered the first part. If you move, the trap will be sprung. So Drow's my thief. I don't know what else to say, guys. He keeps getting the party into traps. Come on, Drow. You've successfully disarmed it. The party gains experience. I don't know how much, but we got a little bit of... XP from that. I guess we should be happy. <laughs> okay. Cool. Let's just... Hmm. Let's go to the corner first. A Kender gets up from setting a trap. He grins and you record his remarks as Journal 82. Some fun for Jarrow here. Alright, Journal 82. There we go. So, at last you've come to rescue me. You know these things are quite clever. Not clever enough for me, of course. I've been imp improving them somewhat. Oh dear, I do hope you didn't come through the north. Oh. Yeah, we're fine. We didn't get hit by any traps. I suppose you'll be wanting to get out of here now. Oh, there are more people back there. Strangborn? Strongburn is around here somewhere. He's looking for Caramon. Oh, uh, you want to find him? Well, that's an interesting story. You see, when we first got together about two weeks... No, we're not listening to that. Uh, I can help, you know. Caramon was taken somewhere south. I've been trying to reset traps in case more draconians and hobgoblins get here. Why don't we team up? Do we really want to team up with another character already? <sighs> now we have two Kender. They're multiplying. Kilderf? The chaotic good thief with 10 strength and 16 dexterity? Hmm. I don't think Kilderf's going to last very long. Level 3 with 12 HP. Hmm. A bad feeling about Kilderf. So is there maybe no enemy encounters down here? Like, is this a safe area? So far, I don't think we've had an encounter since we got past the uh, warrior. Not that there's very much here. Now I'll just do some quick exploring. This room is filled with old scrolls that crack and crumble in your hands. Most of them are evil. Okay, we'll, go, we'll save that one for last. That'll be a zombie ambush, no doubt. Hobgoblins approach grinning. The soldier steps up to them and says, See, I told you I could bring up some entertainment. <laughs> oh. Guys... Who suggested we bring this fighter? He doesn't even have a name. First thing he does, turns me over to the hobgoblins and tries to kill me. Good old gold box edition Dungeons and Dragons. It's almost like I can predict what's going to happen before it happens. And the song starts singing. No thanks, Tubers McGee. Alright. Now we get his plate mail. We could have just killed him at the door and taken his plate mail. <laughs> Alright, well there's Soldier. We know he's level 7, so we can't even put him to sleep. We're probably all dead. A bunch of hobgoblins. He's going to be way stronger than they. He's, 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 <laughs> there's a reasonable chance that he just kills us. Oh, by the way, there should be a, uh... How do we do this? There is a way for Goldbox Companion to see enemy stats. I think I have to hold a, the right button when I click. It's in it's in the uh, description somewhere. There is a way to press a keyboard button and then mouse click on something and you'll get the, the enemy stats. I'll have to look it up between episodes. But yeah. Um, 
Let's try to get cast. Let's try to get sleep right now. Put all these guys to sleep. We're not gonna joke around on this fight. Also, every song seems to have singing now. I don't know why. It's gross. We're gonna do a prayer, which does work when you're adjacent to enemies. Rob does not have any spells left, I guess, is the idea here. Oh, my... <laughs> my sister, Kildurk. Helping out. Click the enemy icons on the map. Let's see. If I hover over... Yeah, okay, I see. You guys won't be able to see it there. And this pops up another screen with all kinds of stats on them. Yeah. Oh, crap. And then I hit X. Well, this is going well. Super smooth. So, uh, what just happened there? <laughs> um, turns out... The Xbox I clicked to close that menu actually was the Xbox for the game. Sure hope I saved recently. <laughs> Quality, uh... Let's play in here. Where are we? Uh, well, we're not too far back. Good thing I found the way to a uh, to to look at the <laughs> the enemy stats. Okay, you can see where we are. We're only like one battle behind. It's not gonna take very long. Just smash it. We're gonna get hit by some arrows here, I assume. Unless Jirao dodges them this time. I don't think there's a way to sidestep in this one. Flight of arrows, one damage. Well, we took less this time around. That's good. All right, the soldier parlays. Uh, because, of, you know, we're gonna still do this. We could just kill him, but you know. It's an Xbox XX. There's so many X's you can't even handle this one. Broken sword on the floor. Oh, that's right. If we come around this way... Well, we could try to disarm the trap for a little bit of experience again, but let's go around the safe way. And then we'll let this one join. And then this time... Another trap. Okay, Drow, I believe in you. <laughs> Why didn't Kildurf say anything? <laughs> And monsters attack in Gibbering Fury. There's just traps everywhere. Okay, the plan will be after we kill a bunch of rats, we're gonna go try to rest up, see if the game will let us rest in here. Before we go get killed by uh, the soldier. Taking too much damage now. Uh, is Pixel the one with the... No, Pixel is not the turn undead cleric. Tim is. I will get Tim a little bit closer to the zombie or the skeleton's turn. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. That will save me some time. Might be a backstab? Of course not. Oops, well, whatever. Better to have space. Look at that. Who pack kill there. Okay. <laughs> 14 experience. Yeah, that's not really worth much time. So, uh, yeah, I didn't go that way last time. So let's find out if this safe room where Kildurf joined is actually safe. We'll try a fix. Well, that's convenient. 
And I'll just see if I can rest for a few hours. We should really end the episode pretty soon for the future tubers, but I want to clear this quarter of the map if I can. Okay. So you can rest here if you want to get your spells back. Uh, I forgot to save some magic after memorizing some... We're going we're gonna to have to spend some time memorizing spells again. I'm just going to use the uh, gold box thing to add them back in. I'll just restore us back to what we used to have. It's going to miss out on some of our, you know, new level spells, but uh, this will get us all of our level 1 stuff back. Uh, if we look now... Anything you had... Uh, we're still missing some, clearly. We'll just... I'll do it at the end of the episode, don't worry. It's fine. As long as we've got some basic spells, we'll be alright. So let's go around the side again. We know what's coming. This time, we're gonna not accidentally close the uh, the game down. All right, and I am gonna carefully look at their stats just to just to demonstrate. But I can see on the right, although you guys won't see it when I hover over that uh, or on your left, I guess. Um, I can see that he's got saving throws, uh, no magic resistance, AC one, Thaco fourteen, and he does get one point five attacks per round. So every second round, he'll get two attacks. So. You know, things like that we can look up. The restore spells didn't work either, by the way. I need, I think I need to save spells after I start Goldbox Companion. <laughs> it's fine. What do you think? Ah, oh, that would have been too good. Okay, put this group to sleep again, or... Wow, there's a lot up down here. Yeah, let's focus on the big group down here. The two in the back that can't even attack, don't need... I always, yeah, there is that as well. <laughs> don't forget, sleep is friendly fire. Okay, but we're gonna put him to sleep. And hobgoblins count as humanoids. No? Just bad luck, that's all. That's fine. So, yeah, we accidentally put Aaron to sleep. That's great. I'm so good at this game. Once it starts going bad, everything goes bad. I'm going to keep spamming this whole person because I really want to save us a lot of trouble and get this guy just dead. You can't retarget the same person, unfortunately. That'd be really cool, actually. Okay, we got him. GG. Cleric's kind of overpowered, by the way. Uh, so what do we got? Helpless. Probably could save some more sleeps, but it's fine. This will just speed the battle up by a lot. Alright, so, finish this guy up. So that was the, uh, traitor. I should be careful here. I, yeah, as, as long as Thornum stays there... They're not going to move over and kill Aaron, but yeah, I did kind of mess that up a little bit. Uh, if someone has Dispel Magic, we could probably fix that. Uh, which I think I memorized on whichever my highest level Cleric is. I'm pretty sure that wakes you up from being put asleep. I'm not actually 100% sure on that. Good, th good sling there. I mean, the hobgoblins aren't actually that tough. It was, uh, it was more the level seven fighter that I was a little bit concerned about. So 
so we should be able to get it back to stab. You know what? I think we've got armor on. I'd have to unequip the armor to get the backstab is probably what's going on there. Yeah, so let's try this again where we get out of our heavy armor, because you can only wear leather armor with a backstab. There you go. 16 damage. See, Kinder Thieves are awesome, right? Okay, that went pretty well. Second time through. Not really worth a lot of experience, but hey, 172. And we do know that there should be some plate mail in here, right? There you go. Now, none of this is going to be magical. And everything from the hobgoblins is garbage. But he didn't even have any gold or, or steel coins. What a, what a sham. Okay, but what I will do, because he's a dwarf, Thornum gets the armor. But that means we can trade the chainmail down to the next person that needs a bit better armor, which is Tim. That means everyone has plate mail or chain mail that can equip it now. Wait, no? Why did you give it to Tim? Trade. Oh, I hit X. You'd think it would have select highlighted at first rather than defaulting to the exit command, but... Because I'd usually press the enter key rather than the S or E button. Anyway, that's fine. And you do have a longsword, Thordom, so if... I think what I'll do with Thordom... I know as a cleric it kind of makes sense to have a mace or a, a flail or something. But I want to keep that longsword around unless we're fighting... Just in case we're fighting a larger enemy. Because uh, maces are really bad against large enemies and longswords are much better against them. But we can let him use it for most enemies. Okay, now we have chainmail. So that gets us... Negative two for the two plate mail wielders and zero AC for the uh, fighter cleric mages. That's pretty good. Uh, Drow normally would have some armor. Uh, I wonder if you can do thief stuff with like, if we do eventually find some mithril chainmail. I wonder if that will actually work for uh, for thief backstabbing in this in this game. I kind of doubt it. What he'll need is like studded or whatever kind of leather armor is the best with like a plus modifier and that, or a bracer basically. That'll be the best backstabbing gear we'll be able to get. Anyway. Done. A knight of Salamnia approaches. He are we sure he's a Salamic knight? The, the last soldier that joined said he was a knight. He introduces himself as Larsent Strangborn and says that he is looking for Karamon, his commander, and recorded as Journal Entry 67. I was with the patrol that followed Karaman in here. We ran into trouble almost immediately. We were not really expecting much opposition, but we were ambushed by a large force of Hobgoblin and Draconians. I was knocked out by a blow to the head early in battle. I awoke in a corner alone. It took me a while to get my bearings, but I finally went out in search of my companions. I overheard from passing patrols that everyone except Caramon was killed. You must help me find him. He must not allow it to fall into the hands of the leaders of this band. Okay, but do we trust... Do we really trust him? He joined up right after the last soldier that joined us betrayed us. Is the game going to teach me a lesson here to never trust anyone? <laughs> did, did he have a name? Yeah, he had a name. Named characters are far more likely to be trustworthy. Strangborn. Strangborn asked you about Sir Carl. After hearing your answer, he hesitates and then tells you a story. And you're, he's telling us all the stories. Who's Carl? Do we know who Sir Carl is? I think that might have been the guy from the introduction story, right? Oh no, Sir Carl's the one that killed uh, the Commandant. He's the one that told us to come here, right? Pretty sure. Uh, journal 7. Good old Journal Entry 7. <clears throat> Listen, Sir Carl is the most honorable of men. I would follow him anywhere, but there is something very dark and strange going on around him. He seems obsessed with a young girl named Maya. The fact that he's about 40... 
that he's about 40 years older than her isn't really the problem if they just settle down and declare themselves. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, super. All that would happen is a few gossips will snicker, and that'll be the end of it. But they won't do it. Maya is extremely valuable to us. She has sources of information that are astounding. Sources of information. Especially for one so young. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bountiful. No doubt. But whenever the two of them are in the same room, the tension is so obvious that... Yeah, you get slapped with a rated R rating. Uh, never mind. You say that he seems to be all right. I will go on with that hope. Let us let the troubles find me in their own good time. Let's go. He's such a gossip. This like we're in the middle of a hobgoblin skeleton infested garbage bin. <laughs> He's talking about some girl, some knight, some salamnic knight. <laughs> there goes the chance of monetization. Uh Salamnic knights are actually uh, into some weird stuff. Stringborn stops you. Wait! There's a trap here! He sets it off harmlessly. Well, I guess we should have a look at him. Uh, not Tim. So, he is a level 4 Knight of the Crown with 28 hit points. He has a shield, plate mail, long sword. Uh, Reasonably decent starting stats. Nothing like us, though. Superheroes. But an AC of zero is fine, and uh, Thacko is what it is. Uh, compared to someone with good strength, at level four, we would have a better Thacko than him, I'm sure. But uh... All right. Well, let's see what's over this way. A cleric and draconians are rushing from the north. You hear some... Someone was at the trap! It's gonna be a slightly longer episode, Future Tubers, because we've gotta win this area. Should have saved it. Okay, we got one cleric and a bunch of garbage. What do we got? We got a hold person. We could try that. And that's what they're gonna do to us. Come on. Oh yeah, that plate now is slowing us down a little bit. Come on. Don't let the cleric kill three of my guys. Now the game says, I'm pretty sure the game says, hold person is supposed to work on hobgoblins. It does not seem to be, though. Anyway, goodbye, evil cleric. Nice try. That should pretty much wrap this fight up already. Eh. Make it a little bit easier. Judicial application of sleep magic. <laughs> enough to take out a nine by a three by three square if you're low enough level enemies. Just don't expect that to work for too much longer. Oh yeah, plate mail. The one downside is how much it slows you down. Okay, we got a sword stuck in a stone draconian there. Kill Dirk. Kill them. I could probably get the two NPCs on top of the uh, screen if we really wanted. Um, I would just have to restart. I'd have to reload GBC a little. If you want to see their HP. The party has won. Rob gets a level up. That means we can get some new uh, magic spells. Ooh, gems. Uh, it's pretty unlikely the cleric had anything other than the chainmail and a shield. And I don't need any more chainmails, or do I? 
No, you've got chainmail. So we have chainmail, chainmail, chainmail. The reason Jirao is one AC short is because he has no shield, or she has no shield. Uh, Rob can't equip any of that stuff, and I don't care about these guys. So the only reason we would pick it up is to sell it at this point. Yeah, we don't need any of this garbage. Let's uh, make sure we save it though every now and then. And if I do reload GBC, I can at least show you my uh, extra characters on that screen, just to show off some of the some of the uh, the bonus stuff we can do. There you go, Kildorf and Strangeborn with their awesome custom uh, sprites are added up. All right, let's continue. There's not a whole lot of space over here. Shouldn't there be some treasure? Okay, even this is a small area too, really. <laughs> a trap door opens from above and evil forces drop upon you. This place is just crawling with evil forces. Well, a cleric, two clerics and a mage, huh? Um, but you, but you wish I had uh, charged up my spells a little bit again. All right, one damage, that's all we need. And one more to the other cleric. No. Blessing's not going to do anything. That was good. Hey, Kildur, if you're going to let me control you now, that's nice of you. Hit that. Dang it. Come on, guys. No. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna move out of the way, take some damage. Only so that we can switch over to our bow. Come on, Sylvan Esty Elf. Prove you got what it takes. I can't... Can you not take... Can you not shoot a bow after you've taken damage either? Or did I... I think... Okay, I think I forgot to... I unreadied the arrows. Okay, never mind. My own mistake. Okay, hit. There we go. Okay. And that gives us more front row character space. Uh, Thornum can move up. Hit the wizard. Excellent. You just gotta keep interrupting these wizards and clerics. Not interrupting very well. Well, here we go. Pixels out. Thor. It's very lucky that Thor resisted because that would have been a dead Thorinum. Enemy clerics. So bad. Why can't I throw a dart here? At all? I think I, th I thought I tried to throw it before I got into melee range. And it wouldn't let me either. Maybe I, something, maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. Of course you miss. We still need to hit this one this turn. He doesn't cast hold person just yet. Good hit. Please finish this one off. Uh-oh. We're losing weapons. We don't have spare weapons for uh, strong burn. Super great. Uh, 
There we go. Try to finish off some of these Baz. They're a little bit lower HP than uh, the Warriors. This is what happens when we do a battle without using a lot of magic. It's like super, super slow and difficult. Having someone get held, one of three being held was a little bit lucky, I suppose, but uh, could have gone a lot worse once clerics start getting their spells off. I guess we'll have to buy a bunch of darts next time we go back to town, too. That's definitely one of the nicer things about the new packs and slings in general. Not having to buy ammunition. Buying ammo kind of sucks. How about... Backstab with Kill Dirk. Kill Durf. I think having good armor on is better most of the time, but it's cool when you can do a backstab. And I guess we're kind of lucky that we can get equipped or not into armor mid-battle, which is not something you can always do. Oh, he's going to get away. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him. I don't even know if it's worth trying to catch him, to be honest. The amount of messing around this is going to be. We'll get a free attack uh, when he tries to run away. But yeah, this enemy's fleeing is a real pain in my neck. Oh look, Pixel finally woke up or uh, broke free. Yeah, you can have your AC back. Okay. Hurry up and flee, stupid draconian. Or we'll just kill you, that's fine. Sure. We get all the experience. Hundred and ninety-nine of it. Probably split up for Strange Burn and Kildorf. We're losing out on like twenty-five percent of our XP because they're stealing it. Okay, do we get some good value out of this? bit of money. Nothing special there. And, well, at the very least, I know uh, Rob is running low on darts. But nothing else should be any value, really, I don't think. So let's just keep rolling here. Do you think I can finish exploring this area? We're already an hour and 20 minutes into the episode. It's supposed to be less than an hour. Well, let's try to wrap this area up quick. I mean, there might still be a couple more giant battles, but... We feel bad to wrap up right now. This connects up... This will be a one-way exit, I betcha, because that connects up with the, uh, the earlier zones. You see a change figure to the south. Oh, I guess we better help him out. Congratulations, the, portion, the party gets experience. Everyone except Pixel has a level up ready to go. Awesome. You find Karamon in chains. As you free him, he tells you of his ordeals and you record it in Journal 73. Awesome. We made it, guys. After the battle, I was taken to see a powerful cleric. He laughed at my defeat. They said... They led me to some doors that glowed in the darkness, opened with a key, and he pulled from his robes. Took me to a dark temple. I saw a bronze dragon egg at the altar. He told me that they were going to start the corruption again. Then he had his minions beat me. I woke up here. If it hadn't been for the treachery of a dark elf and a sneak attack from behind, they never would have captured me. Uh, I'm sorry, my man. They had no idea what we were getting into. Crin's blood, I didn't know either. We were unprepared for the extent of evil forces. This ambush was a complete ambush. 
I mean, it's not an ambush if you, if you know about it. Okay. Suddenly, you hear a great crash from outside the room. A strange, high-pitched, tinkling sound is accompanied by muffled screams. Hmm, what do we think a high-pitched, tinkling sound would be? I don't know. First edition ma monster manual well enough. But I got a bad feeling about this. A female voice calls out for Karamon. He glances up, startled at the sound. Karamon yells, and in a moment, a figure appears in the doorway. A lovely elven woman strides in the room. She embraces Karamon and explains her presence. And she recorded as Journal 9. Journal number 9. Okay. Strange tinkling sound. She's probably, uh... Well, I don't know if it's a spoiler, but she's, she's probably a dragon. <laughs> Journal number 9. Everyone in Kryn is a dragon in disguise. It's probably a good rule to go by, honestly. <laughs> That's why uh, the girls being uh, 40 years different in age is fine. Because, you know, it's a dragon, right? <laughs> okay, journal number nine. She explains to Karamon, I've been sent here by Sir Carl to get you back to the outpost. There are rumors that large forces of draconians, hobgoblins, minotaurs, and others are gathering. We need to direct scouting and raiding operations. You, specifically. I see now that things are worse than we thought. Throttle was supposed to have been abandoned. Karamon replies, It's even worse than that. I've seen brass dragon eggs. She gasps because she's totally not a brass dragon. No! Not again! Uh, then she pauses. Uh, wait. How can they do it? I thought the process was lost during the War of the Lance. Did you see any evidence that they were successful? No, replies Karaman. I was knocked unconscious before I had a chance to look into it. Uh, I need to investigate this matter. Find the key and go to the old temple in the northeast part of the city. Find out what you can. Okay. Alright, the totally regular human will help maybe help us out a little bit. We must get back to Sir Carl as well. Karamon will need our help. Please, do as he asks. So C Sir Carl is the current guy hanging out in the military outpost. Karamon says, The cleric that took the took me has just left for his quarters in the southwest corner of Throttle. Find him and throttle him. The key will make the doors into the temple glow. The doors that are located in the two quarters that border the northeast quadrant of the city. Karamon and Maya leave. You hear a great rush of air shortly after their departure. And everyone else leaves me. <laughs> everyone just abandons me here in the middle of this maze. Okay, well, what we're gonna do here is we really do need to end this episode for the future tubers soon. Uh, I wonder if I can... You know what we'll do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end the episode here. And what I will do is I will travel back to town uh, off camera. Because I don't, I, don't, I don't really feel totally comfortable... Um, well, actually, you know, it's not very far. We can do it. Because there's this shortcut. See? The walls are covered in a thick layer of frost. The frozen bodies of hobgoblins and Boz. Good thing I didn't take it off camera. Just somehow all the monsters in here were frozen. What kind of breath attack do brass dragons have? Just, just wondering. Every, uh, you know, all the, all the chromatic dragons, you know, the... The blue dragons, red dragons, all those kinds of ones. You know, blue dragons are famous for lightning breath, red dragons, fireball, you know, fire breath. Um, but the chromatic metallic dragon, or sorry, the non-chromatic, the metallic dragons, brass, bronze, silver, all those ones that are good, they, uh, they have an associated breath attack as well. One of which would be ice, and uh, maybe that's a silver dragon or something? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Self. Freedom! Alright. So you know what? We got out of there so quickly. Aaron gives away his money, of course. But more importantly, we can level up with no, uh, no guilt. So let's just fix, heal everybody up. And then I will use Goldbox Companions to promote, but we're actually in the right place to level up naturally now. So I don't—I feel like this will be the way to do it in the future, rather than just mid-dungeon, you know, because that's kind of unfair. 
All right. Share the screen. Aaron is ready to become a level three knight. His Thacko will get better and he will gain a bunch of hit points. Level up. He should have got more than 12 HP. Well, I mean, that's a, it's a random dice, but his maximum, a hit die for a knight is like, is it just a D10? I think it's a D10 and then his constitution bonus should be plus four. So he could have got 14, but he got 12 out of it, I guess. Anyway, Thornum, ready for level 3 fighter as well. More Thaco and 8 HP. It's more complicated for multi-class how much HP they get. It's half of the amount because they have got two classes and then a third if you're three class. Anyway, Thornum definitely needs some HP. Level up. Tim, look at all this stuff. Uh, level 3 cleric, a few HP and a bunch of spells and all the clerical level 2 spells. Cool. And then Drow... Has a thief level up, four hit points, another better, an improvement to one of his saving throws. And, like, there really is quite a lot of different skills for thieves in this game uh, that gain stats as you level up thief. Now, you've re these are required to be, like, not wearing plate mail or whatever, but if you're wearing thief equipment, you do gain all these skills in the background. I don't know if they're, most of these have, like, zero uses, but hey. Good for you, Drow. And finally, Rob, level three mage, I can pick a spell from the right here to memorize. We're gonna start with uh, Stinking Cloud. Uh, of the level two spells, I would say Stinking Cloud is probably the best, and then Mirror Image is pretty good. That gives him some defensive buff. After that, Knock is okay, opens doors, but cost you a spell, and Invisibility, kind of weak. Rave and Fieldman lowers enemy strength a tiny amount. Strength raises one of your allies' strength a little bit. Uh, but Enlarge is actually better in level 1. Anyway, level up. And that's it. Everyone's been leveled up. So probably what I will do between, record between episodes for the future tubers is I'll spend some time memorizing some spells because that always takes forever. So I'll do that and then I'll just show off what we've memorized tomorrow. So thanks for watching, future tubers. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for some more Champions of Crimp.